All right, I'm on one of my Suzuki's, the 2001, 2002, whatever. They're both the same. Um, so this is one I did the alternator in some time back. Well, and I think I remember mentioning, boy, that starter would be a hard thing to do. Well, guess what? I had to do the starter. So where I'm at right now is what I did so far. Took the air box out, took the battery out, disconnected the alternator, and dropped it down. Um, two bolts hold that starter on, which is back down here where it was. I have successfully removed it. So what I did is I got the two bolts, which are the tightest two bolts I ever used to get out. I tried to use my impact, couldn't get them. But got up underneath the car. They're two 14 mils. And uh, you can kind of see where uh, that's where the starter was. You can kind of see that clean spot down there. Anyway, there we go. There's the starter. So starter A. And they, they sit pretty much like that inside the car. Top bolt or bottom and top. Uh, this has a little wire harness that holds the wire down. New starter, uh, and it did have this cover over top of here. Uh, well, whichever way it goes. But, combination of swivels, extensions, to get those two bolts off the back side, going up underneath there. Back up underneath here. And, you know, it's not exactly easy access back in there to get them. And there's the two bolts that you get out right there. One has a little wire strap on it. And both the same. But they were on there extremely tight. So anyway, the next thing is uh, when you get the starter out, I pulled the alternator back to get to the wires on it. You have one plug-in wire, which is right there. And then the cable wire, which probably fell somewhere back here. I don't know where it's at. Um, it's bolted on here. Could have gone too far. Oh, here it is, right here. Right there. Nope, that's the... Anyway, there's two wires. Where do we go? That's this one. That's to the alternator. Don't want to switch those around. And then, they must just pull through. Oh, there, it's clear back here. There, it is. I see it clear back there. Right there is the uh, power cable. So, get the starter disconnected from this side. That's why I did that, so I unplug those. Then I brought the starter through here. It's a tight fit. It's a wiggle, kind of shake, and this heater. I didn't take that off. I figured these would break. If you took this off, it'd give you a lot more room. But I was figured that this is probably, I mean, you have to heat shield. Worst thing, you shear the bolts off. But if you took that off, it'd come out a lot easier. Otherwise, it's a really tight fit. It's got a little flex in it. Pull it back out through there, wiggle it out. Just, And now I'm going to try and successfully put the new one back in there, hopefully. One thing I did notice, I'm going to go take off the uh, back bolt right here, where the cable's held on. It was barely tight. It makes me wonder if it wasn't getting good contact. I mean, I went to go, I think I was going to be a little snug, and it just spun right off. So, that worries me, that all that, you know, just that loose power bolt on there. So, anyway... It is removable. It's a 2001 Suzuki Grand Vitara. I think it's 2001. We got a 2001, 2002, um, with the V6 in it. So, anyway, it's probably taken me hour to get to this point, and helps to know how to take the alternator loose. That was very helpful, and getting that starter was also too difficult. Getting the starter out of there, and getting those two back bolts. I'm sure it's going to be the same thing going back in. So we'll see how it goes.